I am here with a well-known businessman and philanthropist, the owner of Galley Furniture here in Houston, widely known as Mattress Mag, Mr. Jim McInville. Matt, really appreciate the time. How you been doing with you? I'm great. Time. Glad to be here. Well, thank you so much for the time. You know, the Astros, they had a huge win yesterday. I'm not sure if you watched the game or not, but just would love to hear your thoughts about, you know, Chasmo Foreman had six RBIs yesterday, and um, the Astros beat the Rangers 10 to 9. Yeah, six <laughs> RBIs, more than I had my whole career in baseball. It was a tremendous game. Astros came back, a uh, tremendous win over the uh, dreaded Texas Rangers, so it was a good night for all of us Houstonians. Good night to help us sell more furniture. <laughs> Absolutely, I love that. Um, and you know, I'd love to hear a little bit more about your story. How do you say, what inspired you to, you know, hey, I want to sell furniture, I want to sell mattress, and I want to, you know, make a lot of money out of this. What, what inspired you? Well, I don't know that I necessarily want to make a lot of money. I want to make a lot of difference. And my father always told me, uh, if you told me once, you told me 10,000 times, get up, go to work, and make something out of your life. So to me, work is life's greatest therapy. I wanted to find a job that I would love to do. So I never have to work a day in, a, in my life. And I found it in furniture. It's my, uh, I find a lot of purpose and meaning in uh, being out with the, our team members, being here with the customers and making people happy. So this is my life selling furniture and being a retailer. And I like what I'm doing. I like making a difference in this town. That's why I'm here. Absolutely, you definitely made a difference. We've seen it. Um, people have noticed all over the country. Um, you know, you came here with five thousand dollars with your wife, and you know, you, s you lived here. I believe you slept here. Um, I'm still sleeping. I sleep up in the tower every night, so nothing's changed. <laughs> so, how long have you been sleeping up in that tower? Uh, I've been there about sixty days now. It's hot and it's loud, but it's a good way to let people know we need to sell ten thousand mattresses before I get down off that tower. But you're right; I did come here with five thousand dollars in dream, and we had no chance of being successful. <laughs> well, you know. It must get hot up there in the tower, right? It gets hot there in the tower, but it's not as hot as it was here in 1981 when I had no money and I had to uh, make payroll every week. But you know what? I had all these disadvantages. I didn't have any money, didn't have any friends in the furniture business, didn't know anything about the furniture business. And the odds of my wife and I succeeding were about a million to one. But you know what? We had a great big unfair advantage. And there's the same advantage out there that everybody watching this video has every American has, and that unfair advantage is called desire. I firmly believe, Manav, that's your name, right? Yes. That you can do anything you want to do if you want to do it bad enough. Get up, go to work, and make something out of your life. Gallery saves you money. Gallery furniture will save you money. Absolutely, I love that. You know, just get out there and go to work and- uh, Work is life's greatest therapy. <laughs> Absolutely, and you know, you've done an amazing job and community service. You've done so many great things for the city of Houston. You've opened up this furniture store for people who need to stay here during tough times or Hurricane Harvey or during the freeze. Um, just what's your uh, motivation for that? What's like just your mindset and just... Well, you know, it, I, I believe we're, we're here on this earth not necessarily to make a lot of money, but to make a lot of a difference. And, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, but during the uh, Hurricane Harvey and the floods and uh, that ice storm, I mean, uh, letting the people in, people act, act like I was a saint to do it. I mean, what am I going to do? Let my people drown? Let my people uh, freeze to death? It's just, it's just, uh, it's that's the way I am. You know, the essence of living, John Paul II said, is giving. And so by uh, helping other people, we get help ourselves. And to me, that's what life's all about. That's what I'm trying to teach my children and my grandchildren. That it's not about me, it's about we. I love that. I really love that. I think... You know the difference has just really really helped you some people really appreciate all the great stuff that you've done and you know of course the 75 million dollars that you're able to cash in for the astros winning the world series was tremendous i know you put that money at good use can it tell me just what it was like to see the astros win it all and then being able to use that well money i, I put the money to good use and the money to good use was i gave back 76 million to the customers <laughs> so i gave back all 75 million plus about a million dollars in bank fee bank card fees we refund this side 175 gave back 76 but made a lot of customers happy and to me that's what it's all about it's about making customers happy and creating a remarkable experience for the customers just like the astros winning that game last night miraculously that was more remarkable the customers will remark about it us giving back the 76 million dollars once in a lifetime opportunities for our customers so it's all about doing things that are personal significant and unexpected for customers yeah you know in gallery furniture you um, made this place really, really interesting. I'd say it doesn't, it's a very, very different than a normal furniture store. I believe you have a high school here, um, a trade school, a pre K, you have a gym in here. Can you tell me a little bit about how that was able to, you know, get done here at Gallery? Sure, furniture? you know, I went to a, a, a uh, 
lecture by Mike Rowe called Dirty Jobs. We used to have shop in this country in all the high schools. We took shop out because we're too smart. We think everybody should go to college. I totally disagree with that. I think people working their hands and doing uh, different jobs is a great way to make a lot of money. So we started a school here for people who never graduated from high school, age 16 to 26. We started a trade school here teaching plumbing, electrical, HVAC, uh, auto mechanics, all sorts of skilled trades for free. And we have a preschool over there for the kids that are our uh, children of our workers, our team members, and children, people going to school, the, the preschool is age six months, five years old, that's all free also. And the idea is to give these people uh, uh, knowledge with a high school diploma with skilled trades where they can go out there and make something out of their life and break the generational cycle of poverty and get into that wonderful thing called work. My life's uh, uh, meaning it comes through work and I'm trying to get uh, Americans to uh, Work has been demonized in this country. We need to elevate it, not demonize it. Yeah, I love that. I love how you use this um, to help so many people, and not only that, just um, help them get jobs and help them succeed in life. I think that's... Yeah, you know, I've given away millions of dollars over the years, and I've learned through um, anecdotal evidence that giving money to people is great for a couple of months. After that, the money goes away. You know, teach them how to fish, and they can fish for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. So. We switched our focus to giving away money to teaching job skills, teaching people skills, teaching life skills, and teaching people that the essence of living is giving and that work is life's greatest therapy. And if you don't work, you're robbed of life's greatest therapy, which is work. I love that advice. Um, you know, we appreciate all the work that you've done for the University of Houston as well. One million dollar in the NIL deals last week for the men's basketball team. Tell me a little bit about what inspired you to, to you know, help out the University of Houston? The men's basketball team is all about Coach Sampson. He's mm -hmm. the heart and soul of that team. I love his discipline. I love his work ethic. I like the fact that the uh, players come in. They're, they're uh, great guys. They're good people, great mm -hmm. citizens, people you'd like uh, to know as a next-door neighbor. And the coach insists on discipline and hard work and diving for the loose balls and yep. going the extra mile. So Coach is my kind of guy. He believes that. Uh, through work, you su you succeed in this life, you excel, and he's teaching those young people down there, those great athletes, a great work ethic, and that's why I'm uh, su supporting the coach. He's tough, and he likes to get people to work, and he likes to win. Yeah, that's a great breakdown of Coach Sampson right there, and UH is moving into Big 12. This is going to be the first year in Big 12. What are your thoughts on just, you know, the whole program? You have football moving in, you have basketball, a lot of great programs that UH has volleyball and swim and dive were really good just... How do you think UH is going to go? I think UH is going to do great. The uh, uh, football team is going to be a little rough the first couple of years, but uh, they're getting better all the time. And I think the basketball team is going to compete from day one in the Big 12. So uh, hopefully uh, football went eight or ten games this year and basketball will make another deep run in the playoffs this year in the uh, uh, big tournament. So uh, looking forward to great things out of U of H in uh, uh, football, basketball. I, I love uh diving i've been involved in that sport for years mm -hmm. uh, i like the uh all the great things the cougars are doing in athletics as well as academics yeah absolutely i think uh is moving into the you know big spotlight with the big 12. um you know i think it's really amazing and you know you've done a lot of promotions any upcoming promotions that people should be aware of well, the promotion we're doing right now if the astros win it all you get your money back by five thousand more astros certainly have a great shot at winning the world series again this year They've been at the top of the uh, game in Major League Baseball the last six years, been in the ALCS six years in a row. No reason to believe they won't be in the ALCS again this year. And perhaps the World Series, Astros winning the World Series, you get your money back. That's the best promotion I can do. And all I got to say is go Strohs. That's why I'm wearing all this Astro gear. Absolutely. You're going to be doing any football from us at all? Maybe for, I know you're, you're a Cowboys fan, is that correct? No, I'm not Tomorrow, a Cowboys fan. Uh, do you like I, the Texans? I'm a fan of the Texans. I, I played okay. football at the University of Texas many years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, the promotion I'm doing right now is focusing on the Houston Astros in early November, winning the World Series, and that'll be a great promotion. Then we'll worry about the next one after that. Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, it's, it's really inspiring to see, you know, these promotions, you know, help out people as well. Um, you know, can you tell me what, what would you say you want your lasting legacy to be um, for the city of Houston? The lasting legacy would be a guy that stood up for what was right. Mm -hmm. and, I'm uh, fighting hard to eliminate the crime in Harris County. I don't want Houston to become the next Detroit, Chicago, uh, or San Francisco. So I'm fighting hard to eliminate crime in Harris County. I think every neighborhood, whether it's River Oaks or uh, Acres Home over here, needs to be safe where parents can walk their children at 7 or 8.30 at night up and down the sidewalk and not be 
uh, worried about being accosted or assaulted. So I'm very involved with Crime Stoppers and other uh, people trying to stop crime in Harris County. And I'm very involved in teaching people how to work. You know, in, in Mexico, if you don't work, you don't eat. I believe in this country, we need to, we need to uh, raise up the sanctity of work. It doesn't matter whether you work at a minimum wage, wage job or the CEO of a uh, bank downtown. All work is important. Have you been going to a lot of the Cougars games this upcoming year? I mean, a lot of basketball games or football games, got any plans? I go to a lot of work right here. Mm -hmm. I don't very often go to, I go to a few Astros games every year. And I'm going to go to some Cougars games. Uh, when they play uh, later at night, well, I don't have to miss much work, but, you know, to me, work is my life, but I'm a huge Cougar fan, and if I'm not at the game, I'll be checking it on my phone. <laughs> I love that, and uh, are you going to be doing anything on, you know, basketball or anything with the Rockets? Anything about, if, like, maybe in a couple of years, like, if you, you do a promotion with the Rockets make the playoffs, and you get something, you be doing anything like that? I used to be a bit, uh, very involved with the Rockets. I'm not involved right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, my focus is on the... Uh, the world famous Houston Astros, and I'll keep it there. I love that. And is there anything you'd say you anything interesting about you that you think people don't really know? Is there anything at all, or you think? Uh, that people ask me all the time when I'm going to retire. That's a good question. <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to die right up there at the front <laughs> desk. And you know what? I'm going to die happy. I think that was it, Mattress Mike. Really appreciate the time. Thank you so much. Thank you, young man. Good to see you. Great interview. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay.